What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Ted. In today's video, we're gonna do a full day of eating high protein, low calorie foods, a total of 1,900 calories and 200 grams of protein in three meals and one snack. One of the meals though is big enough to break into two, so you could make this four meals. So I just got back from the gym, but before I went to the gym, I had pre-workout from Legion, the Arctic Blast flavor, and then I also had one banana. So sometimes I like to go to the gym fasted or just because I feel good and I'm not hungry. But if I ever take pre-workout, I always try to eat at least like a Rice Krispie Treat or a banana or like even sometimes a chocolate rice cake because I get extremely nauseous if I take pre-workout on an empty stomach and try to work out. So I got a banana in for some to make me not feel nauseous and to get some pre-workout carbs in so I had energy. And now I'm gonna have my first meal of the day or breakfast, which is going to be the same thing as my 1200 calorie day of eating. So if you already watched that video, you can skip breakfast. But the reason I'm keeping this the same, the other two meals I'm intentionally changing out so I can show you guys more recipes, more ideas, right, for your own diet. But the reason I'm intentionally keeping this breakfast in is to show you guys you don't have to and you shouldn't change your foods and meals every day. They should be similar. This is gonna help with consistency. And especially if you have a breakfast like I'm about to show you that's working for me right now, it's helping me get more vegetables, more fruit in, high protein. You should try to do the same thing within your diet. If you have meals that you can easily make that fit for your goals and that you genuinely enjoy, you should have those every day or at least 90% of your days. So it's gonna be 200 grams of frozen mixed uh, berries. This has blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. And then two huge handfuls of baby spinach. And then three scoops of Legion Whey Plus cinnamon cereal. Um, again, I use that one, that protein powder, but then I also use Dimatize's chocolate peanut butter cup. Those are my two favorite flavors. If you do wanna pick up Legion or try Legion's pre-workout or protein powder, you can use code Ted Shreds at checkout for your first ever checkout and you'll get 20% off. And then after you put that all into a blender, it will look something like this, the berries, spinach, and then the protein butter at the top. And then if you are making this, I found that between eight and 12 ounces of water makes it perfect, where it's not so much liquid that makes you feel like you're pregnant, but just the right amount. So this meal is gonna be about 460 to 480 calories. I'm not gonna track the spinach. You shouldn't track your spinach either, unless you're cooking it in a pan with butter or oil. But this is gonna be 460 to 80 calories and 72 grams of protein. All right, meal number two is going to be Chobani, a whole container of Chobani, zero sugar, vanilla flavored Greek yogurt. So for the whole container here, you get, try to get that to focus. You get 350 calories for the whole thing and 65 grams of protein. So this is absolutely insane. Add some berries if you want. I'm out of uh, fresh berries and I don't want to put any frozen, in, frozen ones in there right now. So I'm just gonna eat the container, but 350 calories, 65 grams of protein. This is an absolute calorie deficit hack. Definitely gonna fill you up. Not gonna lie, it does not taste as good as the regular Chobani vanilla that has a little bit of sugar, I think like 14 grams or something like that in the regular one, but it gets the job done. All right, now we're gonna be making meal number three. It's gonna be 930 calories and 56 grams of protein, but I'm gonna also show you how to make it only 656 calories uh, with the same amount of protein. It's gonna be a rice, beef, frozen mixed vegetables, and soy sauce meal. I love this one. What you're gonna need is 200 grams of 93% lean ground beef. I like to cook this with taco seasoning, but you don't have to use that if you don't want to. Uh, I don't count the calories in the taco seasoning. And then 170 grams or two cups of the mixed frozen vegetable stir fry. And then 150 grams of rice. I'm using white rice. I think I'm using jasmine white rice or just jasmine rice, but I also have white long grain rice. You could use whatever rice you like. But the thing is, if you want to make this 656 calories rather than 930, only use 75 grams of rice instead of 150. And then around 40 to 100 milliliters of soy sauce. Again, this is not going to matter much. It's going to be like 30 to 70 calories max. I'm going to be using the Aroma rice cooker again. You just dump the cup of rice in there, or almost a cup. Apple microwave, by the way. And since it's almost a cup, you guys can't see this, but there's a one. I'm going to fill it up to the one. Yeah, you definitely can't see that, but it's at the one mark. Now while the rice is cooking, I'm gonna heat up the vegetables on a pan with some Pam. And then when the rice is done cooking, I'm just gonna put the 
ground beef into the rice, put the vegetables into the rice, mix it around, let it sit for about five minutes, and then it should all be warm enough to eat. Forgot to add that I'm also gonna throw the soy sauce in when the rice is done, put the meat in there, put the vegetables in there, and then throw the soy sauce on. The rice is still cooking, the vegetables are almost done, so I'm just gonna throw the ground beef in with the vegetables just to warm it up, and then throw it all into the rice cooker after. All right, as you can see, it's finished. Look how big this bowl is, all right? This bowl is half full, 930 calories, 56 grams of protein. Remember, you can make it 656 calories if you just use half of the rice portion, so 75 grams of dry rice instead of the 150. Super delicious, super high protein, moderate low calorie for this one, but I did give you the option to make it lower calorie. All right, and that is a full day of eating. We finished actually just under 1900 calories. I think it was like um, probably 1960, maybe 1980. But I didn't count the pan that I used to make the ground beef. I didn't count the taco seasoning. I didn't count the spinach. I didn't count, I forgot actually if I counted the soy sauce or not. But either way, just under 1900 calories, 200 grams of protein, low calorie, high protein meals. If you don't want that big of a dinner, you can split it into two, or you could just use less rice as I suggested, and it'll be lower calorie and a smaller amount of food to eat. Don't mind the board, by the way, it has nothing to do with this video. I was making a video before this for the uh, Shred Shed community that's hopefully coming out the second week of January, if not later, but definitely before mid-February. So if you guys enjoyed the video and got value from it, please consider subscribing if you're not already, hit the like button, and then comment down below what calorie amount you want me to do next. Um, I'm gonna need something under 2,000, somewhere between 1,300 I think, and 1,800 are the videos I wanna make. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.